Uh, uh. <laughs> well, in that case, we'll move on to talking to Sam. Yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> Sam Lowe, thank you for joining us. The man, the myth, the legend. But I, I think we should start from how, well, how you and Mel first met, actually. <laughs> because there's a story in that one. Well, How I... did Mel and I first meet? <laughs> um, well, they say 70% of communication is visual, not verbal. And so I'd say that's how we became <laughs> such good friends. So it's, uh, is it the Hammersmith? What roundabout is that roundabout, Mel? That's Chiswick roundabout. Chiswick roundabout, beautiful part of I'm town. Actually, Dan, I'm just going to interject there, just in case you were an <laughs> RAF fighter pilot, a Red Arrows pilot. You're also now a private pilot, coach, podcaster writer quite a peppered career yeah i just yeah go but with you've the met on a roundabout. So, uh, at the time i met <laughs> Mel, yeah we'll go back to the uh we'll go back to the fighter pilot red arrow so i'm very good in with situational awareness uh <laughs> very good with understanding personal space and also <laughs> very comfortable being close to other machines at high speed and then you throw mel into the mix <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it was Chiswick roundabout. I think it was, um, I think I wasn't in the best of moods. I think unfortunately I, I had a partner in the car at the time and we weren't too happy. We'd driven for a couple of hours back to London and Mel was just, well, I mean, you're a happy guy. So I don't know what happened that particular day, but Mel had got very confused with the road signs versus the lanes in which you're supposed to be on. And for those who know the Chiswick roundabout, as you come up southbound off it for Kew Bridge, there is uh, was it a two into one lane? Is it Mel? I think it's just a he one doesn't lane. Know it. He doesn't know no, it. I think I think it's a one lane that was redesigned that day by you for two into one. And there we go. And that, so that was the first time we met, mainly through looking at each other through the V sign. Uh, <laughs> and I think Mel, I think you were saying I couldn't work it out because the windows were closed. It looked like I love you, but I think it was <laughs> you look very angry in your eyes. <laughs> at the time Did he face you down Dan because he often does that well we then we had that awkward moment where it was like pure road rage where I think <laughs> we wanted to get out of the car and drag each other across the bonnet and then uh, we got like, it'd be all right because you know you kind of beat your chest and you think well the traffic would move on and then the traffic didn't move on which was really awkward. And then we were next to each other. And we did that thing where we just stared out the front of the car. So again, <laughs> I was really hard 30 seconds ago. And now I really wish I wasn't here. That kind of <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we followed each other the whole way, I think, until we went all the way through to, it was about Mort Lake. And so if anyone knows that stretch of road, it's only about two miles, but it moves at about two miles an hour. So that was a really awkward hour. And then, and then as he turned away, I was like, actually, because of a mutual friend that I went to school with, Burnsy, you know, give him a shout out. We all know Burnsy. I was like, yeah. I think, I think that was Mel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really awkward because he's in a circle of friends, and I want to be his friend. So that was it. So I, I think I reached out then on Instagram, said, "Hey, sorry, mate, I was a dude who was in the right lane." But you, you know, next time, you were obviously very stressed. You obviously had somewhere to be. Next time, <laughs> I'll have a bit more empathy and let you in. And that was it. And so we we kind of messaged on Instagram trained together down at your gym, which is awesome. And I'd like to say became really good friends out the back of it. But, you know, it was a uh, it was an aggressive start. But I've got a <laughs> feeling you've got quite a few friendships that have probably started with some type of aggressive impact that turned into <laughs> yeah, a, a blossoming relationship. Yeah, yeah, all is forgiven. You know, obviously <laughs> you cut me up, but that's fine, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the other thing with Mel, you know, he drops things quickly, which is great. He doesn't <laughs> Often in a road rage situation, I got to say, Dan, I think you got off quite lightly because I have known Mel on a road bike chase cars down and not stop until he's got there to beat their bonnet or something. Well, pull off their wing mirror. Well, that's the problem with everyone on the roads. It's they're really bad at driving, and we're just lucky that Mel's out there. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> to keep everybody on the straight and narrow. Thank you. I don't get paid for that. It's, it's not my job, but I do it anyway. 